Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're going to cover all about gray leaf spot fungus. Gray leaf spot fungus is a fungus you're going to see in your spring and summer times. It likes in the 70s to the 90s temperatures when you're most commonly going to see it. Gray leaf spot fungus is very common in the wet, rainy season. A good idea of what it looks like overall is definitely a brown tent. This is a lawn that has had gray leaf spot uh, for about one month now. As you can see, it's very common in the bare areas because that's where moisture sits a lot longer and can definitely feed the fungus more. But as you can see, mower tracks, foot traffic, everything, it's, it, it spreads by spores. So any type of traffic mowing can spread it throughout the lawn. As you can see, it's very prominent in these areas and not here. And you can see the major color difference between the lawn. This is not dry or anything. This is all purely from the fungus compared to these areas in here. Now here's a great example of the fungus. It starts as gray little spots on the grass blade. And then as it gets worse and worse, it will start to actually destroy the whole blade. As you can see the spots throughout, that's definitely active fungus. As it gets worse and worse, it can start to, to brown out the tips. When having gray leaf spot fungus, it's best not to fertilize and use herbicides. It loves stressed grass. Herbicides stress out the lawn and nitrogen feeds. Nitrogen is very hot and can feed funguses. Gray leaf spot is a slow to medium moving fungus. By exposing it to herbicide, a stress lawn, or nitrogen, it can grow very, very quickly and rapidly throughout the entire lawn. Now, of course, when having gray leaf spot fungus, it's best to keep the lawn as dry as possible without damage, as well as keeping traffic off and treating with a fungicide. The fungus survives through the warmer summers, actually hanging out in the dead thatch area where it's not active. And once it continuously gets wet and the humidity gets high, which we definitely have here in Florida, that's when you see the fungus start to flare up and move from the thatch zone to the live grass where then you can start seeing the spots slowly appear on there and eventually start to brown out the lawn. Of course, treating with a fungicide is the best way. Here's a couple more management tips to help keep the fungus under control and help prevent fungus in the future. Reduce the thatch layer. Anything loves to harbor in thatch. If you don't know what thatch is, I'll put the link below of our thatch video. Quickly, thatch is dead grass in between your live grass and your dirt. Bugs, fungus, everything loves to harbor there and it stays wet. Irrigate the lawn deeply, but infrequently. Longer waterings, three quarters of an inch to half an inch, and this time I would, you'd be thinking about doing more half an inch of watering and watering less. That's always the better alternative anyways for St. Augustine grass, but especially when you have a fungus, you may want to turn those zones up long, even longer than half an inch. Try to water once a week, but deep watering from half an inch to an inch when you have a fungus. That way the lawn's getting the water it needs to survive, but not staying wet all the time. And always the best time to water is early morning, so that way any excess water can dry up. Avoid post-emergent herbicides in nitrogen. Those will definitely add fuel to the fire with gray leaf spot fungus. Any areas that are excessively shady, definitely bring as much light to them as you can. That's always recommended. So if your trees need trimming or your shrubs are overgrowing the lawn areas, definitely get some more light in there. That will definitely help troll the fungus. Thank you for watching All About Great Leaf Spot with Turf Organics. Please feel free to give us a call or message us on Facebook, Instagram, and you can comment on our YouTubes with any questions about this video. Thank you very much.